What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a glitch template for your logo in Vegas Pro 16. Now in the description, you're gonna find a link where you can download the template, and in the folder, I'm gonna be giving you different backgrounds you can use. You don't have to use them, but it's optional. I'll also be giving you a glitch sound effect you can use. Again, it's completely optional whether or not you want to use it. Here we are in Vegas Pro 16. This is the template. It is super, super simple to edit. Let's get to it. First of all, you can see uh, the second track is where the transparent logo is, which will be my logo. What you want to do is head over to your project's media, right click over here where you see transparent logo and simply select replace. From here, find the logo that you want to use. For example here, I'm just gonna switch it to an Apple logo. And you do want to make sure it is a PNG, meaning there's no background to it, it's just the logo alone. Notice when I've put this logo in, it is huge. So the way you adjust that, you can come to the pan crop tool by selecting this here. What you want to do is have lock aspect ratio checked, have size about center checked, make sure you're at the very first keyframe and simply drag it out. As you can see, this will make it smaller and you go to the size that you like. In some cases, if for example, the logo is too small, then you can't use the pan crop because you can see if you bring it bigger, it literally crops out the logo. So a way to get around this is using the motion track tool, which is over here to the side. So select that. Once again, have lock aspect ratio checked along with scale about center. This time you would drag the corners out. And as you can see, it will make it bigger without cropping any of your logo or image out. And you can also use this to make it smaller as well. So completely up to you which one you use. So I'm happy the way it is, I'm just gonna X out of that. So now you've got your logo in place, there's a different type of colored glitch you can do as well. So click on the middle keyframe, which is this one right here, and notice these colors which are green and magenta. So you can change the color of the glitch. Now you are limited to the amount of colors, so the way you change them, you head over to the project video properties. From here, where it's a stereoscopic 3D mode, you wanna change it to amber or blue, select apply and you can see that's now what it does. You can then change it to red or cyan which is the most common glitch effects like that. It is completely up to you which one you use, um, it doesn't really matter, it won't affect the video, the only thing that's going to be changing is the colours. So I'm going to leave it at red and cyan for this specific video. Now I've also implemented the glitch sound effect. It is completely up to you if you want to use it. If you don't want to use it, just simply select mute. So it mutes the entire track or you can just simply right click and delete the track. So we're all ready. Uh, just play it through from the glitch. You can see that's what we got. Now, what we're gonna do is render this out, but if you want to add your own background, which I'm so sure most of you probably do, we're then gonna be rendering it as a transparent background. So just make sure this is set to best and full. Head over to render as. Now, if you don't know how to render with a transparent background, it is using QuickTime 7. Check out the link I have in the description and it will show you step-by-step step how to create your own transparent background render. Anyway, once you've done that, just simply save it where you want to, call it what you want and select render. Now this will take a bit more time than normal, it is a 7 second clip, however we're rendering it without the background so expect more time for rendering. Okay, the rendering is all done, you can see it took nearly 6 minutes for a 7 second clip, be aware it will take some time. Anyway, once that's all done I do recommend you save this and then select new empty project and of course once you've saved it this won't pop up. Now what you want to do with that video, just drag and drop it in here. So we can now play it through and it won't lag because of course it has been rendered. As you can see, that's the glitch we have. Now, we're, now in the description along with the download to this template, I have provided a couple of backgrounds you can use as well. Of course, you don't have to use them. Now notice I've added the background, but we can't see it. What you wanna do on your video is right click it, select properties, select disable resample, head over to media, change the alpha channel from none to straight unmatted and select okay. Just like that, you're done. So you've got your background, you've got the logo, and you've got the glitch. Just like that. Super, super simple. Now with the background, you can change it to whatever color you want to. To do that, head over to video effects. Then from here, I recommend either playing around with color curves, 
playing with color corrector secondary, color corrector, or even color balance. So color corrector is probably going to be the strongest effect. Drag and drop it onto your background. Let's say we want to go for more of a blue. You can see it's very, very strong. So just be careful with the amount you actually put on. Just like that, we've changed the color. You'll notice we do have black bars because the background isn't actually big enough. So to fix that, right click your background, select properties, uncheck maintain aspect ratio and select OK. Black bars are now gone. Play it through. Just need to turn it down to preview and auto. So hopefully it doesn't lag too much. That is now completed. You've added your own background, you've changed the background color, you've got the logo glitch effect, it is all completed. Now if you want to know how to make this glitch effect from scratch, check out my video which will be linked in the description where I showed you step by step how to create this glitch effect. It's really simple and it will take you about 5 minutes. <laughs>